name is Victoria Pavlov. I'm the Photoshop artist. Welcome to my studio. How are you this morning, guys? It's Monday. Yeah. What are you planning to do today? If you have nothing to do, if you have nothing to plan for today, I will show to you something you can work with. Today I will show to you the easiest way of creating the Polaroid picture frame in Adobe Photoshop. You will need probably only less than 10 minutes to create something very unique and very nice. So guys, let's start. First of all, let me move. Good morning, Rene. All my um, chat, win chat windows to another monitor, just like that. And I will switch to my desktop camera. Here, guys, as you can see, I have opened Adobe Photoshop, of course, and I use a um, light uh, shade of gray color for my background. Now, guys, I have only one layer, and this, uh, and this layer is locked. Let me show it to you. This layer is locked. I don't need to unlock this layer, but just in case, if you would like to unlock any layer, just simply click on a lock icon and voila, you will be able to unlock your um, layer. If you, if you would like to lock your layer, click on lock icon, just like that. Now, good morning, Valdar. Sorry if I pronounce your name wrong. Now, I will switch to, uh, let me see, I will switch to Restangle tool. Let me show it to you. Restangle tool. And in the options bar, I will specify fill to white and I don't need any color for my stroke. Let me show to you my options. Just like that, white color for fill and no colors for stroke because I don't need stroke in this, um, shape and using Cristangle um, shape tool I will create a very simple shape just like this. I will close my properties panel because I don't need it for now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now as you can see I have two layers. One layer is uh, our simple background layer and top layer is our restangle layer. What I would like to do right now, guys, I would like to rasterize my layer. To rasterize my layer, I will um, apply right click and I will scroll it down. Let me do this. And I will click on a rasterize a layer just like this. Now, I will switch to uh, a restangle margin tool. And I will select a part of my restangle, just like this. And after I select it in a way I like, I will uh, um, click delete key and voila. Now I will deselect my selection. Now we have simple um, Polaroid uh, picture frame. And what we need to do, we need to apply a few um, effects to it. First of all, I would like to apply um, um, I would like to drop shadow. Um, in the layers panel, I will click on um, add a layer style just here. I will click on it. From drop down menu, I will click on a drop shadow just like that. And now we have layer style, style panel. As you can see, you can preview everything in real time if you will check preview uh, icon, preview box. And guys, here we have endless possibilities of creating a, um, a drop shadow effect. You can uh, move all sliders in the way you like and everything you will be able to preview in real life. Now. This is my favorite setting for a uh, Polaroid frame. Let me zoom in and I will keep it just in a few seconds. This is my favorite setting. Look at this. After you will specify um, everything in the way you like, click OK and voila. Here is our Polaroid frame. Yes, we have frame, but we don't have a uh, Uh, but we don't have picture, of course. How we can bring picture in our Polaroid frame? 
Um, I here I have opened my image I took about a few years ago in our studio. Uh, personally, I love black and white. Um, photography as a photographer for me it's more drama going on it's more a personal um it's my personal style but if you prefer to work with a colored um photo here in my uh, library panel i have image i took again in a few years ago uh, in my uh, studio so in any way uh doesn't matter uh what image you would like to use opened in your um uh, a separate window or located in your Creative Cloud library. Simply add this image into your uh, document, just like that. This image is too big, of course. And what I will do, I will select this image, select all, edit, copy, and now I will deselect it. I will hide my image layer. I will highlight my Polaroid frame layer using same a rectangle marquee tool, I will select part of my Polaroid frame, just like this. I will go to edit, paste special, paste into, just like that. Now, we have our image, but what if I would like to uh, adjust, resize this image? Example, uh, in this particular um, uh, example, I would like to size my... Uh, image down what i will do i will switch to my move tool and i will bring size of my image down by the way guys you don't have to go to free transform tool uh, i will show to you uh easiest way how you can um uh use transform tool without going to transform tool uh, i will highlight my move tool and in the options bar let me show it to you I selected after select a box and now when I'm clicking I'm highlighting my uh, move tool I can resize my image without going to free transform tool just like this guys this is our Polaroid frame we spent less than seven minutes yes guys it's so fast but I will show to you one um, extra tip to add more personal um, style, to add, to add few more personal detail into your uh, design, it's always good. What I will do, first of all, I will delete my um, original image layer. I don't need this layer anymore. And I will switch back to Restangle tool, but I will use bright, um, light shade of a brown color and I will create this simple shape just like this. Now guys, right click on my new shape layer and I will do same rasterize layer. If I will switch to move tool, I will be able to scale size down and also I can rotate it just like that. And I will click OK to accept all changes. In the layers um, panel, I can change blend mode for this um, uh, shape. Guys, we have a live preview of uh, our uh, blend modes. And I love it. Let's see what blend mode I prefer. I prefer multiply just like that. If I would like if you would like, you can bring down opacity of your layer. Now, guys, we have kind of um, if type uh, scotch tape uh, effect, but I would like to add a little bit more details. What I will do, I, I have highlighted my uh, top layer, our scotch uh, type uh, tape uh, layer. I will add a layer mask just like that i will switch to the simple brush tool with black color let's see what brush i would like to use i will use kind of brush with uh, a lot of texture you can use any brush you like just like that i will bring size of my brush down and i will add a little bit this beautiful effect to the edges of uh, my um, 
tape a layer just like that look at this if you would like guys you can add a little bit more um thank you thank you Renee. you can add a little bit more um uh, detail to your tape layer simply highlight your uh, uh, tape layer not um, um, the mask uh, icon your uh, layer by itself click on um, add a layer style drop shadow you can change a uh, shadow uh, opacity value just like that click ok and voila if you would like to add same tape to another part of your image simply duplicate this layer switch to the move tool and move it in a way you like and also guys you can rotate it you can scale it down if you would like just like that and voila guys look at this also guys also you can add any text so i will switch to my horizon type tool and let's see I will say hello Behance just like that I will position my text in the middle definitely I can um, change a size of my uh, text if I will switch to properties panel uh, where is my properties panel here is my properties panel I can um, make it bigger or smaller it's up to you guys i can change color i can do anything i like but you the point of um this text is to add some personal detail into your art into your design thank you thank you andrea so guys this is what i wanted to share with you today uh if you um have any questions just ask i will be more than happy to answer any of your questions i'm here for you guys and look at the time guys guys we spent 12 minutes and we created something very beautiful and unique if you are a photographer this is a great um way of representing your image in a different uh, way uh if you are a designer you can add your uh, instead of um photography your photography you can add your uh, design image if you are a painter you can add your painting uh into this um polaroid frame again guys everything is up to you you can by the way you can uh, duplicate your uh, polaroid frame and create a few frames in one design so guys endless possibilities just play with it experiment and again if you have any questions just ask i'm here for you and as always guys if you want me to stream about something specific just let me know because i'm always looking for a topic most interested for you so uh, if you want to learn anything about Photoshop, Lightroom, uh, Adobe mobile application, Lightroom on mobile, um, Fresco, um, Illustrator, anything else, guys, just let me know. I will be more than happy uh, to create uh, to show to you how you can create this or that. And as always, I appreciate all your support. I hope, guys, you are safe stay home wash your hands as often as you can and i will see you on a wednesday by the way guys um in a, a, a one hour i'm going live on adobe live with a terry white and i will be showing um uh partner uh vector a uh, partner drawing in adobe illustrator if you, if you have some time just go to adobe live from behance and i will see you all there just in one hour in 10 minutes so guys thank you so much <clears throat> Andre, I will do my uh, tablet um, um, Wacom tutorial on Wednesday. Same time, 9 a.m. Eastern time on Behance, uh, YouTube, 
Periscope and Facebook. So guys, thank you so much and I will see you tomorrow on or in one hour on Adobe Live. Thank you guys and I will see you very soon. Bye.